Joel Casamayor in the red trunks with the gold trim. Enrique Valenzuela in the white trunks with the blue trim. This uh, took place earlier tonight here at Miccosukee Indian Gaming. Round one scheduled for 10 super featherweights, 130 pounders. With it, this Casamayor is uh, much ballyhooed. He came over from Guantanamo, Cuba, lives here in Miami, defected along with uh, Diabellis Hurtado, which was Costa Zoo's last opponent. He's trained by uh, Ten Goose, Joe Goose, and, uh, in the corner. And uh, they say you can expect big things from this young man. They're very high on him, especially here in the Miami area. He's a huge favorite around here. Of course, most of these Cuban boys, as far as coming through Guantanamo, are big favorites of this uh, million so Cuban exiles that live here. But this guy's a good. This guy can really fight. Well, he's a sharp little boxer puncher. He come at you with nice crisp defense, good speed, good foot movement, good fighter. Now this, this is a walk in the park kind of uh, fight because um, he's fighting a guy at 16 and 20 and uh, th 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 there's just no comparison between the title of these two guys. Valenzuela in the white turn pro in 87 won 11 of his first 12 nine by knockout but boy did he tail spin after that lost his last 12 six by knockout 17 of 18 11 by knockout his last win May of 96. This is first fight of 99. Good streak and a bad streak right wow. now. He's on the tail end of a terrible streak. Terrible. He's going up against uh, an up and coming undefeated Southpaw an Olympic champion Joel Casamayor in the red with the gold trip. And a guy who's got a big big future in boxing. Uh, he's, so it's just tonight to get warmed up and uh, leave here early. Rather flashy trunks on the uh, castle here. It's, uh, reminds me of the Marine Corps, red and gold, simplify. The biggest name at super featherweight is Floyd Mayweather. He's the WBC super featherweight champion. But as mentioned before, uh, Joe Goosen, the trainer for Casamayor, was telling us the man that. He has in his sights is the WBA champ Larva Sim, who's from Mongolia. That's the guy they want. They want him. They want him really. They want him right away. They want him really bad. They want a championship belt around this guy's waist as soon as possible. Well, you can see the kind of punishment that he delves out once he gets the guy in trouble. He's already got this guy in trouble, and he doesn't let up. He'll let him get through. Oh. That's the end of round one in a uh, fight taped earlier. And coming up next, as we've been mentioning, Costa Zhu and Miguel Angel Gonzalez for the vacant WBC Super Lightweight Championship. Costa Zhu making final preparations. That's Johnny Lewis, his trainer on the right. Lewis has trained some terrific fighters in the past. Jeff Fennick from Australia, Jeff Harding, and now with Costa Zhu. Well, this is one tough kid. And it should be wild, particularly that that first round. If he comes out like he always comes out, he's a very determined, fully focused, mean little fighter. And you underline the word "mean." Very nice, intelligent young man. In the ring, he's all business. To you. All, all busy. Yeah. Has all the makings of a great, great fight. Well, this is round two. It was scheduled for ten. Rosalia, Mexico. Well, they got a good softening up in that first round as Casamayor just went to work on him. Not willing to stick around here any longer than he has to. Well, nice lead right hand there for Valenzuela, but doesn't have the authority on his punches, doesn't have balance. Nice gesture oh, there by Casamayor looking to help Valenzuela out. That was a slip. He's got some class. Well, that southpaw style has to uh, put a frown on a lot of opponents. Casamayor, not only a, a skilled, polished fighter, but also a left-hander. He's 28. 
And he looks like he could go pretty far. Sharp boxer, good little puncher, nice combinations, tight defense, moves well from the outside, can work on the inside. You know, he has all the tools. It's just a matter of what he does with them from here on out. His seventh fight here in the Miami area, getting acclimated to the United States after defecting from Cuba. Now, Cuba has always produced some great fighters. Luis Manuel Rodriguez, Quarantino Fernandez. I mean, there were some great. Teofilo Stevenson. Well, Stevenson didn't come out and, and fight the pro, so these were the ones I'm talking about are champions. You're talking so about guys, so guys at Montague Annapolis. He could have gone pretty far, though, huh? Yeah, he was. we had a long, we had a long list of good, good Cubans. My Angelo and Chris had most of them. Dundee, yep. Yeah. yeah, so I worked with all of them, and they were magnificent fighters. Beautiful well, left uppercut by Casamayor. There he throws it again. And down goes Valenzuela. Late second Cuatro, round. Cinco, Valenzuela seis, turned his back and Casamor just reached ocho, around and hit him right smack on the nose. Armando Garcia, the referee, waving it off. Waving it off. 226 of the second round. A TKO for Joel Casamayor, upping his record to 19 and 0. Just two different classes of fighters, Steve. You know, yeah, it's yep. just one of those nights where you get a tune up, you get some work, you stay sharp. Add your experience level and move on. Yeah, Valenzuela now losing his 13th in a row, seventh by knockout. Casabayor picks up his 12th KO in 19 fights and able to pad the record here on this night in Miami. Let's take a look at some of the action. Casabayor is, is the defense he's the offense he's the class of this particular fight there he made guns well missed and he turns in on with the uppercut again and again and here he reaches around and hits him with the left hook from behind but the punch landed in the legal area on the face here we see him getting out of the way of a wild right hand by Venezuela he misses with his own then he comes up underneath that's the first punch that started his whole sequence of wobbles there's another double one was blocked the other one came in now he spins him and he reaches all the way around and hits him clean hits him in the face. One more look at it again very slick very smart with his feet and his punches makes his punches count the first one that started things that left uppercut. He doesn't get too anxious. He works smart on the inside. Casamayor had a free hand he used it here he reaches all the way around from behind this man to catch him in a legal area. Casamayor looks like a good one. Even though he was fighting a, uh, a lesser Ladies quality and fighter gentlemen, tonight. We have the time of 2 minutes 26 seconds in round number 2. Our referee in charge, Armando Garcia, stops the contest. He's the winner by way of technical knockout and still undefeated, Joel El Cepillo Casamayor. So the...